week we're talking about the power of audio and how you can use it within your videos to add meaning and evoke emotional responses with your audience. You see, audio is an incredibly important part of film and television production, playing a huge role in how our viewers interpret our videos. Think about your favourite films over the years. The majority of them, whether you consciously notice it or not, will include music to control the rhythm of the action, alter your perspective of the characters or plot line, and enhance the emotions of any scene. The power of music has been used in moving pictures for decades. We just have to look at silent films to see that music is an essential part of the viewing experience. In these films from the 1920s, music accompanied the action to not only make the audiences laugh or cry, but to actually help them understand the plot line. Now, of course, we've come a long way since then, but we still use music today, whether it's subtle and understated or dramatic and obvious. We as editors need to be thoughtful in how we choose a soundtrack to our video because different scores can completely change the meaning of a scene or storyline. Just look at this shot sequence here of a spooky haunted house. I'll play this clip with two different pieces of music behind it. Notice how the audio completely changes the look and feel of the scene. So before you leave it to the last minute to just choose any old track for your video, and we've all done it, we need to think about the mood we want to create in our scene. Are you going for a mysterious vibe or a playful touch? Are you looking to be funny or edgy? We're looking for music that fits the visuals we see on screen and the way we want our audiences to feel. So how do we do this in LumaFusion? Well, there are various ways we can import music into the timeline editor. We can add music from cloud storage, external drives, or your editing device itself. But remember, when adding music to your projects, you'll need to ensure it's royalty free. That means you can use it without paying royalties to artists or rights holders every time it's played. There are lots of sites online where you can find it, but lucky for us, LumaFusion's media library enables all editors to access an entire library of royalty free pieces of music and sound effects from Storyblocks. These can be searched through and dragged and dropped onto your project. There is a subscription for this, but there's also a selection of free tracks to use when getting started. You will need to be connected to the internet. To start choosing the right track for your video, either tap on one or more of the filter tabs to help you whittle down your selection, or search for a keyword yourself by tapping the magnifying glass icon. You can do both at the same time too. So here I'll search for an electronic piece of music that's also reflective to accompany my videos down here on the timeline. You can see my results pop up here and the length of them noted at the bottom left of the thumbnail. Now, of course, I'm gonna keep this in mind and preview the audio by tapping once and pressing play in the preview box. Just like you do for any other piece of content, you can top and tail with the trimming handles here, fitting the length of any audio you need and drag down into the timeline. You can place audio on any track in LumaFusion. I like to place it below my visuals out of habit, but it's completely up to you. After it downloads here, we can see we can play our video with our chosen music. And you might find at this stage that you might like to time the shots to the audio you've chosen or add any transitions. I'm going to add a crossfade here. So take the time and really listen to the content. Hear any beats drop or the tempo change. See if there's any nuances in the audio worth picking up on. Play your video back as many times as you need to fit the music to how you like the video to look. Now here I decided to only have the audio creep in halfway through my sequence on the timeline, but often you might find yourself needing to shorten a piece of music to fit the length of your project. In that case, 
lengthen your audio track out so it's playing in its entirety on the timeline. You might be tempted to simply trim this end off and add a cross dissolve here, but in my view, this won't give you the polished ending your video deserves. Instead, if you want to keep the natural ending to the music, you can hear here that it comes to a nice rounded end. You can just cut out a section in the middle and add a small cross dissolve to blend these two sections together. Make sure here that you count the beats, you listen to the rhythm of the music to chop out the correct number of bars so your music blends and the cut isn't noticeable. Of course, you can alter the levels of your scene soundtrack by using the sliders on the left here of the timeline, or have more control by double tapping to open the audio editor and either using keyframes to make audio level changes as the track plays out. Here you can see we can move the volume up and down, or you can use the audio ducking feature to have the audio levels dip and dive automatically when your audio clips are on screen. Now for a more detailed lesson in audio ducking, please check out our guide, which looks just like this here in the Luma Touch Academy YouTube playlist. Using soundtracks and music within your video should be really fun. So take the time to experiment and see what kind of vibe you can create within your own content. Now, if you're ever unsure and you're not really sure how your videos are coming across, my advice would be to play it to a friend or somebody that hasn't heard your project, who hasn't even seen what kind of emotions you're trying to evoke with your video. They'll soon tell you if you need to make any changes. For more creative editing from the LumaTouch Academy, make sure you subscribe to the LumaTouch YouTube page for alerts on new content. That's all from me guys, happy editing, and I'll see you next week.